So with this golfer, a few things, he had been getting some instruction already um, beforehand. So there's a lot of things that have already been kind of worked on, but we can see that there's still uh, some things that continue to show or reveal themselves. So in terms of this swing here, we can see a few things that we wanted to work on. One is just this idea of early extension. So we can use a better, better line there. Now what we do is we draw a line from setup here at the back of the pelvis, straight down. And again, the view should be right through the hands. Now, as we move forward in the swing, we expect that right glute and pelvis to take up that space as it does. And then here on the downswing, again, this is a characteristic called early extension. So we can see that as we move down, our pelvis starts to come off that line. It moves forward, it shifts forward. So that is that early extension swing finding there. Uh, lots of things, lots of potentials for that. Um, again, a lot of it I think has to do with the lack of hip mobility we found on that left side where we are not able to stay back into that pelvis and rotate pelvis on hip. We call that acetabulum on femur. Um, so instead, since we run out of that range very quickly, instead we will shift our hips forward so that we can kind of bypass the need for that specific mobility. And again, we will rotate instead through, again, we use our low back or whatever it might be. And then again, we can kind of bypass that hip and that full use of that hip internal rotation, right? Another finding here simply is just this kind of C posture that we have at setup. Again, having a uniformly kind of flexed spine and a tilted pelvis, um, it'll just limit it's almost a starting position that will limit how much rotation that we can get from the different segments of the spine, as well as what we can do in terms of flexion, extension, and rotation, so transverse plane rotation of that pelvis in the starting position. So just two things um, that we wanted to point out in this golfer. Again, he's working on a lot of things. You can tell uh, by the swing that there's a lot kind of on his mind and things he's trying to work on. Um, so in that regard, he's doing a good job of staying um, not uh, swaying or sliding or doing anything like that. Again, he stays relatively put in terms of the lateral or frontal plane movements. Nothing too crazy happening there. Um, and again, because he's been working on some things, some cues, now he just needs to get his the rest of his body on board so that he can do this with power. He can maintain his himself in these do in this domain and these boundaries that um, help keep the sequencing and the timing and the ball striking uh, where it needs to be. But can we do it and uh, be mobile, quick, powerful there? And these are things that we work on in the clinic. While we still have a few things, correlations, things that we want to work on that, uh, again, he just doesn't have access to. So these swing characteristics are starting to pop up. So what we could do is work on the body first to get everything opened up. And then it should be easy transition with um, swing drills or coaching from someone else to, um, if they ask him to do something, to help avoid and kind of puts the contacts back in his brain. Hey, I need to keep this pelvis back and rotate through the pelvis instead of shooting it forward. That um, once he figures out or they're worked through how to do that, that his body has the ability to actually do that in the first place, right? So this is just a few findings that we had in the swing analysis with this golfer.